what can you tell us about drivetrain losses? Look, part of the problem is people quote percentages, where you know, percentage might work for one small factor of you know, friction through a gearbox or something like that, whatever, you know, but just to, to group everything, drivetrain loss and tyre loss. The, the tyre loss actually is probably the bigger component of the loss. So to me, I, I, I don't like applying percentages because they just don't work. But the other thing with the percentages is the loss the same as it was when it was 300 horsepower, or is it, you know, doubled if we double the power or are we talking somewhere in between well there's obviously going to be more frictional losses through the drivetrain and you're going to have potentially more tire loss because there's more heat generated in the tire so you're going to have more loss i certainly wouldn't go down the track that you're doubling just because you double the power you double the loss ultimately what i'm trying to get at here is this isn't a simple thing that you can apply a one-size-fits-all solution to and, and you know be happy with that no because drive trains are different front wheel drive versus real road a front wheel drive cars typically have less drive train loss because there's just less parts involved at the end of the day so